I don't know if you heard, but last night, the Democratic Party ended forever. Breaking news this morning, a major blow to Democrats in Georgia. Karen Handel beat John Ossoff in the most expensive house race ever. A big blow for Democrats, who are bitterly divided. So this is not the outcome any of us were hoping for. But this is the beginning of something much bigger than us. You know, politicians always have to be so upbeat when they lose. I wish one of them would just be like, I lost? F <laughs> Everything sucks, man. This is bullshit. I'll be at home eating SpaghettiOs over the zinc. <laughs> now, the handle Ossoff race appeared to be very close, uh, but there are many factors why Ossoff never really stood a chance. This House seat has been in Republican hands since Newt Gingrich was elected nearly 40 years ago. All politics is local. Handel ran a race that was tailored to this district. John Ossoff is a guy who worked for Al Jazeera and doesn't live in the district. That was never a match. Right, so it was a Republican stronghold. He didn't live in the district. Uh, it could have even been because he looks so young. Like, Ossoff looks less like a politician and more like he should be biking around looking for the upside down, you know? <laughs> but. But, but people, let's be honest here. There's a more obvious reason why Democrats haven't won by running against Trump. You see, Democrats are clearly living in a bubble where they think it's obvious to everyone that Trump is bad. So even though Trump has only been president for 150 days, to a Democrat, it feels like 150 years. <laughs> what you don't realize is that Trump's presidency isn't even a toddler yet. Even though it sounds like one, it isn't. <laughs> So, to think that Trump supporters would, at this point, be fed up with him, like, it's just not realistic. Time is relative, you realize that. As a Democrat, you're like, man, it's been forever, he's been messing up. Like, when you're not having a good time, time lasts forever. Right now, the Democrats are basically the designated drivers at the club who aren't drinking. <laughs> Have you ever done that? <laughs> Have you ever spent the whole night at the club sober? You'll see how long a night can feel. You're just standing there like, <laughs> is this just what we do now? <laughs> We're just waving our arms for six hours? What the <laughs> But when you're drinking, you're like, what do you mean we're closing? <laughs> oh, my God, have we been here for a week? Wow, time flies. <laughs> Those are Trump supporters. <laughs> and for them, it's only 1 a.m. in the club. Trump hasn't actually done anything to anybody. We have to just give him a chance to, and I hate to use his vernacular, but drain the swamp. We're now in the middle of June. Give me a word or phrase to describe Donald Trump. I'd say honest, productive, yeah. tough SOB. There's a lot of people calling in and bashing Trump, and the guy's been in for less than six months. Give the guy a chance. Uh, now, I know what you're thinking. Yes, Trump has black supporters. But, uh, <laughs> secondly, you've got to admire the optimism of these people, right? They see what Trump is doing, but they're still like, I know it looks bad, but give him a chance. Like, if there was an earthquake, these would be the same people who'd be saying, hold on, hold on, we don't know where this is going. <laughs> hold on, hold, not yet. It might shake the stuff back onto the shelves. Hold on, hold on, you never know. You never know. Hold on, give it a chance. Give it a chance. <laughs> now, I'm not saying Democrats won't win in 2018 or that they need to change their message necessarily. I'm just saying that it might be too early for Trump's people to make a judgment about him. Trump has still got that new president smell for them. Yeah, I mean, it smells like hairspray and taco bowls, but it's still new for them. 